Hey guys, this is Elevative, and I'm going to show you how to set up and add ambisonic audio to your Unity VR Chat projects. So here we have a basic Unity project with the most recent SDK 3 installed for VR Chat. Uh, now the first thing we're going to need is an ambisonic audio file to put into the world. They can be a little hard to find depending on what you're looking for. But today I'm going to jump over to my Patreon where I have a free demo track available. Uh, for everybody to download so that you can try ambisonics and make sure that you know everything's working in your project uh, note that the format of the file is very important if you're going and looking for tracks outside of this um, unity by default only accepts one type of encoding so you want to look for first order ambix or uh, b format a and c channel ordering uh, if you see the term fuma or a format that audio file will not work correctly so I'm going to go ahead and download this guy. All right, now that we got it downloaded, I'm just going to drag and drop it into our Unity project. It's going to take a second for it to fully import because it is a large audio file. And at first note, you'll see that there's four separate tracks of audio inside of this. That's how Ambisonics encodes its audio is in four separate channels of audio. Now, the first thing we need to do is set up Unity to be able to play back this type of file. So we're going to navigate to Edit, uh, project settings and we're gonna go to the audio tab and where it says ambisonic decoder plugin I'm going to switch to oculus spatializer which is pre-built into the SDK for VR chat um, so now the game will be able to render ambisonic content the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the audio file in particular and set it up so that unity knows that this is an ambisonic audio file by flagging it as ambisonic as well as I'm going to switch it to streaming so that it doesn't automatically decompress it all into the client's memory um, and it instead just streams it from uh, the downloaded content instead. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. Now let's go ahead and create an audio source and stick it in the world for our ambisonic audio. On this audio source, we need to add the VRC Spatial Audio Source component so that VRChat recognizes it. And underneath of the uh, component, you need to de-check Enable Spatialization because Ambisonic Audio is treated in Unity kind of like a 2D audio source. And what I mean by that is that this Ambisonic Audio Source is going to be audible throughout the whole world, like any kind of 2D source that you would add. And if you want to control the volume in different areas, you would need to add some type of animation or automation to control the volume of the audio source or rotation or other means um, the the audio component the audio file gives you the three degrees of rotation freedom in the track but you need to add the other three translational um, degrees of freedom inside of the unity engine it's also important to know that the this blue axis is the frontal direction of the audio towards the blue axis so that you can line up the directionality as intended in the audio file so I'm just going to go ahead and take this ambisonic file, drop it on there to the audio clip. Um, play on awake is checked, so as soon as I drop into this world, it should play back, and um, pretty much it's good to go. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to support my content, you can on Patreon, as well as get access to a library of ambisonic audio files that are drag and drop ready for Unity. If you're in the process of learning about ambisonics, I'd recommend visiting this world in the background called Immersive Audio Labs I made a little while ago. Uh, it demos the basic concepts of what ambisonic audio kind of comes from and what it sounds like. You can also visit this world that has a bunch of ambisonic environments you can download off of my Patreon to use license-free for all sorts of other stuff. Um, and the links to said worlds are in the description. Thanks.